Welcome to this edition of Jacked Up Monday, January 23rd. I uh, hope everybody's having a great day so far. We just got back from Stillwater, Oklahoma early this morning. Uh, went down there and uh, we, we wrestled the number one ranked team in the country and uh, uh, we lost. We lost by uh, pretty good. Uh, Oklahoma State has a great team down there. Uh, but excited for our three guys that they get some wins. Nate Rodert. Um, avenging a loss from the Big 12 Finals. David Kocher also avenged a loss from last year, as well as Seth Gross knocking off the number two ranked guy in the country. Uh, it was a great trip. Um, we got back healthy, and uh, we look forward to getting ready for next week. Uh, next week, we travel down to SIUE for two duels against SIUE and Gardner-Webb on Saturday. Uh, another long bus trip for us, but uh, it's part of the process, part of the grind, and uh, our guys are really uh, embracing this season, and uh, we're excited for the, what, what's uh, ahead of us. Um, also, be on the lookout. We're, cr we're creating one more e-flyer for our fans. We've got a bunch of people wanting some gear, so we're going to put an e-flyer out hopefully by the end of the week. Stay tuned for that as you can order some official Jax gear um, and be able to go to the Big 12s and NCAA tournaments uh, in, in your favorite Jax gear. Um, Cubbies, 1145, come on down Wednesday. Uh, well, uh, it's always a great crowd. Uh, also, we have second row mat side seats. We only have a few left for the Oklahoma Duel, February 3rd. Call Sean Smalley in the ticket office. And um, it's going to be, a, it was a big hit against Iowa. We sold them out, and I really believe these are close to being sold out. So go ahead and call him, purchase your mat side seats, and uh, it'll be a great duel Friday, February 3rd against Oklahoma. As always, start your week off right and get jacked. One thing I want you to focus on is go do what you do. Don't worry about these guys. You've drilled it, you've prepared for fake, low, single, fake. Get your hands up and go do what you do. If you sit back and wait for them to take the fight to you, we're in big trouble. That's not us. You know what I mean? That's not the way we wrestle. I don't want you wrestling 3-2 matches. Understand? Go take the fight to them. They, they're the ones. They're the ones that have the pressure on them. They're the number one ranked team in the country. They're the ones wrestling at home. They want to get through this week. They wrestled Friday. You know, they didn't warm up, right? Anybody see their guys training? Like, we, you know? Guys, I'm telling you, if you're going to wrestle hard, this is the match to wrestle hard. Okay? This is the match. Do not get down by six, eight points. If you do that, a good wrestler is hard to beat. look at going out there and wrestling the best I can and putting points on the board and uh, you know I wrestled probably not my best match but I was able to get the job done you know I didn't get to my offense too much in the first few periods and uh, was able to ride him good and I think I could get some turns on him but you know can't can't be intimidated by anybody you just got to go out there and wrestle your match and uh, just put points on the board uh, you know those, those rankings don't mean much uh, it's just a number um, you know me I'll myself my uh, my biggest uh, opponents in my head, and uh, before the match, the coaches told me, man, stop worrying about it, be yourself. Uh, there's a reason you're at where you're at. Don't worry about them. So, you know, a number can't do much. It's the guy that's uh, across from you, so just get out there and fight. 
Um, you know, I mean, it's just another stepping stone. Uh, I mean, there's still a lot of things I need to work on that I could do better that I learned from that match. And uh, it's nice being the number two guy. I mean, it'll help the Nationals for seeding and everything. But uh, just learning and moving forward and figure out what, how I can beat, widen the gap on guys like that. So, You know, he's a good guy. He uh, can move me around in some scrambles and uh, make it hard to finish. But if you get to a leg four or five times, you're going to get one of them. Um, I wish I would have got the first one and the second one and the third one. But uh, if I'm focusing on the uh, attacks I didn't get, then uh, you know I'm not focused on the next move. And I just went to the next move back to the middle. Um, made it a fight. You know, I'm not sure if all these guys in the country want to fight like we want to fight. Fight for each other. They get tired out there, and that's, uh, that's what we take it to them. Oh, I knew he's a real strong guy. He's really tough. I mean, he's good in his position. He's fast. He's explosive. And I just wanted to get to my attacks. I mean, work my stuff and rest of my match. You know, this match will help me become a national champion because uh, it builds the belief in myself. Um, I've got a whole team that believes in me, a whole coaching staff, a whole uh, university, but I'm um, putting it in my own head that I belong there and uh, that spot's for anybody. Just keep giving, I'm going to keep giving the glory to God and get jacked. Get jacked.